Hey yo, hey yo. All right, so today I have just been grinding away at sport races, the daily races today. I've been focused hard on getting that driver's rating up as well as that skill rating, but I was mainly looking for that driver's rating. And I finally got what I was looking for. I got my A driver's rating and I've got my S skill rating. I'm getting up there and uh, it's looking pretty good. If we can go look at the specs right now, if this didn't take a million years to load up, there's a points rating that you get um, which allows you to get into A driver's rating. So I just got on the brink of that point spectrum. Um, I forgot what it was, like 30,000 or 40,000 uh, driver's rating points so I just cleared that which got me in the driver's rating A and my sportsmanship is up there I've had like six races today six in a row all pretty pretty much flawless so I'm deep in the sportsmanship rating with S right now and then um, what I'm most proud of is this last race that I just had which is really interesting it was part of the fastest group that I've ever driven against my qualifying time was only good enough for 13th position and I don't remember what the lap record for this dragon tail configuration was but the fastest guy in the group was doing 128.2 which was lightning fast for me but in pace like current race pace that I'm able to proceed with um I wasn't getting smoked by him, you know what I mean? So it leaves me with a little bit of hope and anticipation to try to get better. Um, mainly, my drive to keep at their pace is very dictating on if I can get a draft. Because I can corner at the same rate, I just don't know how they're getting that much speed. And it could either be the comfort level that they are with stomping on throttle when they come out of corners. So corner exits might be a lot better. And you can see it's a whole fucking grid full of the 08 GTRs. I'm in the 16. I decided to jump into 16. I was in the Lexus RCF for the races before. RCF is lighter with more power. But I decided to jump in the GTR because the GTR is way more linear to drive. So, um... The 13th position that I'm in and the number 13 that my car is joining means that I am the 13th highest ranked driver for driver's rating, which shows you that I got a whole lot of work to do. And everybody that is above me is a uh, attribute to my driver's rating going up. So as the race started, I wanted to be aggressive, stay deep in the pocket and breaking zones, not give up any room. As you can see me running down Brazilian Bud's ass, which is really wild because uh, that ended up being a violent tank slapper. No contact from either of us. We just both caught the curb in a really weird way. So, uh, lost position, which is downtrodden for me because I need to be up position. Somebody threw off the track right there. Back in the 13th, there's Calamity behind us, which is none of my business. So, I'm just focused forward, running down 12th. Um... That was uncharacteristic, dropping a tire because we was really moving. Somebody else went off the track in the 12th position. Another person off the track in the 11th position. I mean, we are just dropping, gaining, getting there. I got to close in because I want the position gains from battles. These uh, flops that the other guys are doing, getting me position is cool, but I want to gain position through battle. So, running through the chicane. The chicane of death is wild. If you don't have it lined up properly, you ain't gonna get through there properly. And that's a really fast pace going through there at about 140 miles an hour is bananas. So running into this braking zone, got a really good dirty air. I took it offline, so I didn't hit him, but I was able to tighten it back up and kind of stay with him on the exit. The run out is very important for me because like I said, I don't know how the hell they're getting this much speed. But uh, I was figuring maybe it was from corner exit. So I was staying as close as possible to stay in the draft. I'm just sniffing every emissions that his car is emitting out the back. And backed off just a little bit of braking zone to give him some space. But closed right in on the driver's exit. So still trying to maintain that draft. Using all the track that I can. Staying in this shit. Running into a really quick double apex right here. But this braking zone is kind of tough, troublesome. So I went wide. I didn't want to get any rear impact. I wanted a clean race. Uh, dude behind me is wilding. Coming through here, I stopped downshift. And I just let off and coast through and get right back on throttle. Which goes a little bit wider. But somehow the arrow makes it work when you just stand back on the throttle. So... Uh, a little bit different driving that I've been used to and maybe that's how I'm keeping up a little bit better with guys that are really outpacing me a little bit more than a second 
but um, real nice on that apex, and we're driving it out wide. I'm, take, I'm taking the wide line to maintain the speed, as well as uh, taking a wide line here. We get right up on the wall to run through the chicane again. Calamity ahead of me, two positions up, and we're moving. So now, I was close enough to uh, capitalize on that position change, and now where the work begins, because that's two laps down. We went from 14th down to 9th. And now I've got some work to do because guys ain't really screwing up in front of me. They're a little bit further out than I'd like. Um, I was trying to figure out where I could get the draft. When you're driving, you hear the tone of air around the cockpit change so you know you're in the draft or not. So um, trying to maintain real tight corner exits. This camera view is one of the sickest there. Look at that terrain. That is awesome. But then back in, uh, jumping into this double apex again. Um, I didn't get that corner exit like I wanted to, which uh, kind of messed up my, my momentum because I was really on a roll right there. But uh, we're going to use some of that uh, nice dust flying up in that area. That's tight. We're going to use some of that momentum coming through, sparking up the city uh, to get back in the mix with this draft. Dude was riding. And my only benefit to try to close in is the braking zone. Somehow I was braking a little bit better than guys, but, uh, you know, they were, you see I'm sideways there, they were still getting out on me on corner exit. So, uh, as we roll through the chicane here, I think this is the third lap. And I'm really pushing. That arrow is doing overtime amounts of work. So, uh, the, the guys up front, I, I really didn't have any understanding as to how I would make any position up or close in any uh, time. As you see, braking zones are my benefits, but um, these straightaways are just killing me. So, I was kind of going to be content. I was getting ready to settle for ninth place, but um, we got a little bit closer. I was right in the draft coming in on this braking zone, and we got just a little bit closer, which made me think that, well, shit, you know, two more laps left. Look, there goes an issue right there with this big, ugly, like the OA GTR is hideous and just having nothing on it and one big blue color looks like it's a blue M&M without the M stamp on it. That thing looks wild. Uh, but he's there now, which helps me get a draft. So hopefully he can tow me down the straights and uh, allow me to jump around. You see we're going a lot faster. I'm dropping tires because I was not letting up off the throttle and making some sparky sparks coming down into this braking zone. Um, I just got real deep inside and stayed on him. I got a little bit of throttle uh, early, so it, it kind of kept with the pace on their corner exit because their corner exit is insane. Sparking it up again, rolling through that chicane. We are wilding. Uh, coming through there, I mean, it looks like they're getting the gap on me, but that was like a second. And then I close in once again in the breaking zone. He got real close on the other guy in the lead GTR. This battle for eighth place is about to really start to fire up because um, once I get in there, man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make a run. I mean, trying to find the speed is cool, but like once I get in there and get locked in the mix, I can mix it up with the best of them. So as they're going into this breaking zone, I'm there now. You notice I'm in the mix. Let's make something happen. I want to make some pressure. I want to make some position changes. I'm trying to do it all. I'm trying to make it happen. Uh, again, they get about half a second on me with that, but then I close in. I went wide because I thought I was about to hit dude, but as I said in a couple of other races before, um, now that I'm up in the higher ranks, the drivers seem to be a little bit better. So now I'll play those games and just sagging on the brakes for a little bit just to make you go off pace. Um, they really were getting to it, so even though I ducked off to try to avoid contact, um, he got back on the move, so I was able to jump back on throttle. Now, here is where I was scared. I dove inside because I thought it was going to hit. Now, it kind of looks like we hit, and it even made the impact sound, 
but we had about half a foot of distance and there was no SR drop. So I was thankful for that. Staying tight on the wall, running through there. Boom, he fucked himself. Left the space there for me. This is fifth lap, remember that. I now had an opening that I made it through. He's splashing. I'm not even looking back, my dude. I don't know what you're doing. I dropped a second to get a little bit more corner exit, and then we're just running on down the line. So this is where we finished off. We finished off in seventh place. We started in 13th. We dropped down to 14th and made our way back up into the mix. So that gave us a pretty good boost in SR and driver's rating. So that's a good race, fastest dudes I ever drove with, and I hope to proceed and get a little bit better, get a lot quicker. I, I mean, I need to. I want to get in the mix and prove myself as a driver. So that's it. That's good for this one. We gone.